Hello, in this tutorial we're going to look at how to use the free program GeoGebra available at www.geogebra.org and we're going to use that program to create a simple virtual manipulative, in this case an interactive graph of a line in which students will be able to use sliders to control the values of variables in that graph. So let's get started. You can see that I already have the program GeoGebra open and the first thing I'm going to do is add the sliders that the students are going to be using right onto the graph. So to do that, I'm going to click onto the angle button up here, select slider, click anywhere on the grid to add it there. I'm going to set my minimum value of the slider to negative 10, maximum value to 10, and you could also adjust the increment here, how much you want it to go up and down by in each step. I'm going to leave it there at 0.1. I want to rename that slider. I'm going to right click on it, choose rename. I'm going to call it M because it's going to represent the slope in my equation. Okay, I'm going to add a second slider now. Slider's still selected there, so if I click on the graph, it's going to add another one. Again, I'm going to set the minimum and maximum to negative 10 and positive 10. Say OK. And I'm going to rename that one, of course, you know, to B as it is going to represent my Y intercept. Now if I use the move function over here, now I can grab these, drag them around anywhere on the screen that I want. I'll just line them up over here in the corner where I'd like them. And you can see that I can also drag these up and down and they'll change the values, but I don't actually have them assigned to anything yet, so it's not doing anything. So to make the graph of my line, I'm going to go down to the bottom and use the algebraic input at the bottom here. I'm going to type the equation of the line, y is equal to m times x, make sure you use the asterisks for multiplication, plus b, and press enter, and there's my line. You can see that it automatically connects the variable m to my slider m, and the variable b to my slider b, so that these are already controlling the slope and the intercept. So I'm just going to add a few more things to make this look a little bit more appealing before we finish up. I'm going to right click on the line, go to properties. You can do this on any object, go into its properties and adjust things like its color. I'll go ahead and make this one in, uh, blue. I'm going to make the line a little bit thicker. Let's say OK. I think it's helpful to have the grid on when you're doing this sort of thing. And so I'll add the grid by going to view grid there. And I want to add some text so that we can see the equation of the line right on the screen there. Uh, so I'm going to choose the insert text menu here. Select inter insert text. Click on my screen. Now pay close attention to the syntax that we're going to use here. I'm going to use quotes to denote the absolute letters that I want to appear on my screen. So in quotes I'm going to put y is equal to space close quotes. I'm going to use the plus sign to add things together into a string that will show up in the text. So I'm going to put plus m so that that um, dynamic text will change with the value of the variable m. Plus again in quotes x plus close the quotes and then add the variable b for my y-intercept. So I have the y equals mx plus b with the m and b added as dynamic text that are going to change depending on the values of m and b on the screen. And you can see we have the equation there and now the equation is going to change in the same way that the text or the graph changes and so that by controlling the slider you see both of those things change. I'm going to go ahead and right click on that text, go into the properties, make it a little bit bigger so it's a little bit more prominent. Okay, So that's basically what I want to have. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to take off the algebra window because what you see is exactly what you're going to get when you output it as a Java applet for view on a website. So for now I'm going to close this. I'm going to use the move drawing pad tool here to drag it up and recenter my graph. About like that. And I'm going to output this as a web page. So I'm going to go to File, Export. I'm going to choose Dynamic Worksheet as web page and enter some information here. We'll give it a title of whoops, Slope Intercept Form of a Line. Author's name. And you have the option to put some text above and below. So I'll put some instructions above. I'll say um, 
use the sliders to control slope and intercept. And then you could add some text below if you wanted to, um, which is very helpful for adding questions onto the page uh, to give the students some more instruction or problems to answer by using the applet that you've created. I'm going to choose export, and you should be aware that this is going to export about four files. I'm going to go ahead and stick them onto my desktop, call it line graph. And so you're going to end up with about four different files that um, will be on there and you need to make sure when you upload that to your web page that you upload all of them. Now I'm going to open that file, the HTML file, linegraph.html from my desktop. It's going to come up here in my web browser for you. And because of my security settings I have to allow it to run the JavaScript. That's fine. And you'll see the web page will come up. It has the title, it has the instructions I put on there. The Java applet is loading and here it is. So I can use my sliders to control that. It looks exactly like it did on the screen but now it's in a, um, a standalone Java applet on a web page that you could easily upload to your own website, send your students to, add questions and things on the bottom if you wanted to. So you can see GeoGebra is an excellent program for creating very easy interactive Java applets that you'd be able to output to your web page. Um, I'd encourage you to try it out. It's www.geogebra.org, and I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.